Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Now in today's episode, we're going to be going over a tutorial on how to get two legendary items. And those two legendary items are going to be the Satori and the Kangao. And you can get these actually during the heist mission, but this is actually going to be doing them later in the game. So if you guys have missed them, I'm going to show you guys exactly where you can find them. So if you haven't already done the heist mission, you'll know exactly where you need, get, where you need to go. But this is actually showing a tutorial on a console version. So you can do this on either the PS or on the Xbox, and you guys will be able to get these at any point in time. Now, doing this at any point in time does require... Or has a couple of requirements that are needed in order to get back into Com um, Compiki Plaza. Um, so just keep that in mind. And you're going to get both of those items specifically from Victor here at his Ripper Dock shop. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying these tutorial videos and want to continue seeing these tutorial videos, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. If you guys could share these videos with everyone and everywhere that you possibly can, that would really help me out and would be outstanding of you guys because eventually I would like to grow the channel and do some giveaways. So if that sounds good to you guys, then you already know what to do. But anyway, let's go and talk to Victor because he has a couple things that are needed in order to actually toys? obtain the two legendary Hello? items after the fact. So the first one, that's not really required, but it will make your your job easier to get off of the tower when that time comes and that is going to be this one i don't even know how to actually pronounce it the car cons cut off something like that it allows you to aim and shoot while dodging slows time down by 50 percent 1.5 seconds when dodging aiming or attacking during a slide or a dodge and it's cooldown is only five seconds this does cost 5,000 eddy so just keep that in mind it's not needed but it will definitely help you guys out and make it a lot easier to get off of the tower when that time comes because the way that we enter will not be the same way that we leave now the next one that is going to be required is any reinforced tendon and this one is going to cost you forty-five thousand eddies at any point in time if you guys need money i have money guides here on the channel so make sure that you guys go ahead and check those out i'll actually be releasing a another version probably a little bit later um where you can actually make a lot of money very 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 quickly uh, and you can have, you can buy whatever you want. It really wouldn't matter in the game what you guys need if you guys do that method. But anyway, 45,000, this is what you're going to do, and you basically can do a double jump. Ultimately, is what you guys need to do. Now, just in case you guys need to see it from a further way out distance away, this is where you guys are going to be needing to go. This is Kampeki Plaza right here. So this is the fast travel destination that we want to get to. Now, once you've actually arrived here at the waypoint, you're going to be facing towards this tunnel. All you have to actually do is face left and go over this direction. Make sure that you don't get any, any by any of the cars because they like to run everybody over here from time to time. And then right uh, from this point in time, we're just going to run down and we're going to do a little bit of a swim. And we're actually going to get around this area. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. And you will be swimming for just a little bit of time. So just be prepared for that. All right. Now, once you get all the way around, you're going to get the um, waterfront uh, notification that you've arrived in a new area. And then this is Kampeki Plaza. So let's just make our way up to the top here. And then we're going to actually go ahead and take a left because we want to go towards the main entrance. So we'll just jump over here. And then what you want to do when you get close to this main entrance right here is you're going to actually want to call it your vehicle. It doesn't matter which one it is, uh, preferably not a bike, but we're going to call it. And I think it's going to come where I don't want it to be at. Nope, that definitely did not do what it was supposed to do. All right, we got one last try here. So let's actually call in our normal car. There we go. Perfect. So the, you want it to basically spawn underneath this canopy right here. So that's what we want. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your vehicle and you're going to pull it up next to the door. And you do need to be kind of at an angle in order to do this. So you got to kind of position it just right. Then you're going to glitch through this uh, doorway here. So I'm going to kind of line it up at an angle. All right. There we go. And that time the door actually opened up for us. So that actually worked out pretty good. So you do have to kind of just make sure that it gets into the right spot. I'm kind of curious to see if we can actually exit this way a little bit later. I might actually try that. Interesting. I'd be curious to see if we can actually get out that way. Because the first time that I did this, 
Uh, this door did not open, and I can clearly walk out of it now. Uh, I don't really know if there was a whole lot that I missed down here. I think it was more in the upper floors, to be honest. Because when I did the bottom floors, I pretty much scavenged everything that I possibly could. You're going to make your way over to this elevator right here. You're going to go inside the elevator, and then you're going to go up to the conference room. And then this just takes a little bit of time in order to get to the top floor. Now, the other thing that I do want to let you guys know is if you guys come up into this area, uh, and or even in the bottom floor as well, you will notice that anybody that you didn't kill the first time around, that if they are alive, you will have to kill them this time around. So just be well aware of that. But anyway, let's go ahead and make our way uh, through this entire floor because we need to get to the other side. So let's go ahead and make our way that way. And it does just, it's, it is a little bit of a maze to kind of get around, but it's not too difficult once you kind of get familiar with where you're exactly going. And we want to go this way. And then we want to go through that door that's actually straight in front of us. And then you want to make your way back up to the stairs here. And then you want to get over to this doorway which is going to be like an elevator shaft area. And this is where you need to actually have the double jump. Now, I do recommend that you guys switch the time of day to the, the later portion. So just go ahead and get it to like 10, 11 o'clock at night so you can actually see what you're doing. And then when you're here, you're gonna basically jump up onto that ledge. There you go. And then we're gonna jump up on here. And then what I recommend here is you just basically look up and then do a double jump and it should easily just get yourself up here really easy. Uh, it should be not really that difficult to get past that one. And then you're going to jump on top of this here and then you're going to look up here. Now what I recommend for this one is just basically keep spamming the jump button. And then you will make your way up here. So first tries for that. That works out pretty good. And then you want to kind of go to this corner and look right about there and then do a double jump right there. And then you want to make sure that you uh, are basically grabbing up. There we go. I guess that's the second time for that one. And then you're going to make your way around the ledge here. Going to go through this door opening. And look, there we go. We got the first legendary weapon, the Kangao. So some, okay, it's a power pistol. Some okay DPS. My, I mean, I have some better weapons right now anyway um, that I'm currently using. But not bad for a legendary item that you can actually go ahead and upgrade. So we might as well go ahead and obviously take that. Like I said earlier, you can grab anything that you may have missed. So any of these contents, you can grab um, the dog tags from this guy. You can grab anything, anything you want. You can now make sure that you grab it so you don't have to go back all the way around and do this all over again. All right, is there any, I know, I know there was some like smaller items in here, but you can actually just, you know, grab anything that you may have missed. But in order to grab the secondary, second legendary item, we are actually going to head up the stairs that you saw just to the left here. And we're going to go up to the top here, and then I'm going to grab this suitcase as well. And then I'm going to make my way through this door, and then up the stairs, all the way up to the helipad. And you're going to see right there is the Satari. So this is the legendary item that you can get well, both of these legendary items you can get during the heist mission, but not too hard to actually obtain after the fact. Um, total recording, I mean, even without editing, is at like 20 minutes. So not even really that bad in order to get it. And then we're going to go ahead and grab that data bank. Now, I am really curious to go back down to see if that door opened, because the first time that I actually tested this, um, that door, I went all the way back down there and... The door wasn't open. I couldn't get back through and the car had vanished. So I'm guessing that the door is probably not open at this point in time. But you can definitely try it if it is something that you would like. I have already tried it and I wasn't able to get back through that way. I thought I could, but I can't. Now there is two different ways to be able to get down off of Compeki Plaza. Uh, the first one is showing you guys just a regular jump, which I really don't recommend that you guys do. Uh, I tried this multiple times to see if I could actually get to work and I couldn't. But basically what you'd run and double jump right here and you would aim towards the water down at the bottom there. 
I don't really want to go over the edge, but the water is actually down over there. Or you can actually purchase that um, cyberware that I was showing you guys earlier, and this allows you to kind of do a weird kind of dodge that you can do. So when you're aiming, you do a dodge, and you kind of go into this weird, like, state where it kind of slows down time. But if you do it right, and you do a double tap on the dodge, and then let go, and then dodge again, you get kind of this little bit of a boost that will actually allow you guys to basically leap forward. So... Now, at this point in time, what I would definitely recommend is make sure that you guys save your game. So, we're going to go ahead and actually do that right now. So, let's go ahead and do a save. I'm just going to do a brand new manual save right there. That works for me. So, we're going to do it like this. We're going to point towards that direction. And then, at the end, we want to basically do a, uh, a, a double jump. So, we kind of launch ourselves over that railing. The, the other option would be to do is that you can actually jump up here. And you can do a double jump into this area and you can actually try to do it from up there to give you guys a little bit more height if you don't really want to necessarily have to do a double jump to get out of there it's kind of up to you which way you would like to do it but we're going to try this method first so again you're going to you're going to basically aim you're going to do a, a dodge let go of the a button and then do another dodge and then it should allow you to basically jump in time so aim dodge And we're going to make it easy peasy. So we can just go ahead and surface. And now ultimately all we just have to swim back around the side of the building. Because that's where we would, that's where we entered to get into um, the plaza. So it's going to take a little bit of time to swim all the way around, but that's ultimately all you really need to do in order to get both of the legendary items after the fact, which is pretty outstanding in my opinion. But anyway, hopefully this tutorial did help you guys out, and if it did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming.